Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. A couple of months ago I uploaded a review of uh, a big camp kitchen that we've been using uh, for a few years now um, and there's a fair few comments on on that video and a lot of people were saying it's too big and it's too heavy which uh, I agree with them actually it's it's a fantastic bit of furniture and if you're not doing much off-road or if you're going to be camping somewhere and you know maybe it's two three four nights or if you've got a big family it's a really perfect kitchen for that type of scenario but with us you know there's just the two of us and we do a lot of off-roading trips so I try and keep the truck as light as possible and really we don't need uh, that bigger kitchen so I, I built another one a couple of years ago and I tend to use this one um, more often than the larger one as you can see it's uh, you know it's, there's plenty of gear in there I'll just take you through uh, what I've got in here so you can see on this side I've got the kitchen roll holder underneath there um, I don't know if you can make that out on camera can you there's a, a little uh, wine glass holder which I think is important so you can get your beer and your wine in there and you're not going to knock it over while you're cooking I've got kitchen utensils down the bottom here um, herbs and spices there salt and pepper and then this main part of the kitchen um, I've got a couple of cups there's my kettle in there I've got a cup here which I use for kind of mixing things in uh, whisking eggs in or whatever I've got a couple of bowls um, a large saucepan and a medium sized saucepan cafetiere never leave home without that and there's my jar of coffee and on this shelf we've got the handles for the, uh, for the pan set I've got my little spoon caddy there um, tea towel and another couple of uh, decent sized frying pans as well and then on the very top shelf I've got a couple of enamel plates so also a couple of drawers here I've got a, a knife drawer and then just above that I've got a lost a fork ah, I've got a, a cutlery drawer as well so yeah this little unit um, it just works perfectly I mean for two people you've got everything you need in there to, to cook a full meal for breakfast lunch and dinner and it's so easy to, to pull out of the truck as well the last kitchen the big one um, I think it weighs somewhere in the region of around 35 kilograms depending on what you put in it uh, and this weighs about 15 so it's much easier to move around on your own I tend to just keep it on the on the on the uh, truck bed like this I mean it works perfectly I've got my cook part of the stove behind me here which I tend just to, to pull out so I can cook there I've got my kitchen there and I can get access to my fridge through the gullwing door so yeah this this little unit uh, it's it's perfect so in terms of hardware I used exactly the same plywood as I used for the last kitchen so it's good quality marine grade plywood um, if you're going to build a kitchen like this I suggest you, you use that stuff don't bother with the plywood you get from B&Q, Wix or, or anything like that now the main reason is I mean I've got 9mm plywood here and you kind of I just use simple butt joints where you glue and you screw um, the, the sides together and if you use the the nasty plywood from B&Q it just splinters and comes away <clears throat> whereas this stuff it's uh, it's really nice quality it's really good to work with you know it sands down beautifully it cuts beautifully it's uh, proper marine grade plywood yeah so the the main body of the uh, kitchen is made out of 9 mil you don't need any more than that 9 mil is fine it's plenty strong enough the shelves are six millimeter plywood again all you're doing is holding pots and pans I have seen people building chuck boxes with like 12 and 18 mil plywood and they just end up so heavy um, the only areas where I've got 12 mil is on the top and on the bottom 
obviously I've put it on the bottom because it's getting pulled around a lot on the on the truck bed floor so an extra bit of thickness there will come in handy and on the top I can't find a piano hinge smaller than about 25 mil so I've got two 12 mil uh, bits of plywood here and I think I've got two millimeter stainless steel sheet on top screwed down and the uh, 25 mil piano hinge fits perfectly on that um, hardware it's just the same stuff um, I think I went there flightcasehardware.co.uk or somewhere like that and you can buy the aluminium struts the corner braces the, the handles and the latches and you can just put something to, together like this um, this isn't a, a complicated kitchen the other one was you know when you've got the two doors opening and the, the shelves folding out and the, the back section plus you've got to build the table stand for it whereas this you can probably you know this this could easily be a weekend job you don't need any uh, special tools just a saw a bag of screws and a screwdriver and some glue should see you through really so yeah I'll just uh, take the camera off and I'll I'll give you a closer look at it So once you've done cooking and you're ready to pack up, it's, uh, it's really quick to get away. You simply just fold the worktop over and then this just shuts like that. I've got a flight case latch there, keeps it in place and then I, I just push it back into the truck. I've got a little loop there which is just a, an upside down coat hanger and I just strap strap the kitchen in to the back there so it's a, you know it's a quick and handy little system to get going it's just a, just a case of pulling it out you know, that's as quick as any any draw system and there you are if you've got your burner handy literally just a matter of seconds and you you've got a fully functioning operating kitchen well folks I hope that was useful for you um, this kitchen is ideal if you've got a pickup truck and you've got a tray bed here you can just slide it out and just get cooking almost instantly I know a lot of people opt for um, sliding kitchen systems these days in pickup trucks but I do lots of different uh, styles of camping I don't always want to cook around the vehicle um, I've got an Oz tent which I tend to use in the winter so I can just pick this up and I can put it into the Oz tent um, so yeah it's fairly versatile and uh, it's just perfect for you know two people or if you've got a small family um, definitely my favourite kitchen I think I have got a couple of um, 
D-ring loops on as well. Thought I might mention that. Uh, so you can run a cord over or a strap just in case you want to keep something on top of the kitchen in transit. So yeah, there it is. If you've got any questions or, or anything, um, just stick them in the comments section. I'll do my best to, to respond. So yeah, um, that's it. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Oh.